Hi guys, welcome to day three of setting up my classroom. I have a ton of stuff to get done, but I just didn't get very much done at home yesterday. I wanted to cut out letters for my bulletin boards, but I didn't get that finished. I only got one done. So I did bring my spray paint today, so I'm gonna spray paint a bunch of things, and then I'm gonna try and redo that bulletin board. I don't know, it's a mess. But then I also am gonna try and take some of this furniture home and just see what other little odds and ends I can get done because tomorrow we come for our first teacher work day. The good news is for our teacher work day, we have to stay in our classrooms. It's all over Zoom, which is kind of weird, but um, I get to be in here. So I'll probably pack my lunch and then when we have an hour for lunch, I'll get to like work on my bulletin boards and stuff like that. Um, tomorrow I have to run out of here right at three o'clock because I have my friend's bachelorette party. So today's really my last full day to be in here working. My goal is to get this carpet moved out. The janitor's gonna help me do that, God bless him. And then that's the little pile I have left to take home, the lacrosse sticks, the stools and all that. And then today I'm gonna rip that off, put new paper up, and then I brought in my little rolly cart. It's so cute, Clayton helped me build it. And then this is what I was talking about the other day. At Walmart, they have these little like wooden tops. It was only $11 and it fits right on top so that you could like draw on it or you can put your computer on it because right now it's just obviously open. So everything in the top will probably be just like pens and stuff like that. And then I'll put this on top so that I can roll my computer around with it. So for this bulletin board, I think I'm just gonna keep it simple. I made these little like pennants, I guess you'd call them. And it just spells out welcome. And then on my Cricut, I printed out to third grade. So I'm just gonna hang them. And then I have like a little wreath that I took down from last year. So I'll probably put that up there too and just keep it cute and simple. Whenever I do a bulletin board, I always line it all up on the table first. That way you're less likely to misspell stuff. And so you can just kind of see how much spacing you need for all the letters. But I'm gonna string these from this that I found in my room today with these that I also found in my room today. So glad I kept those. But I'm gonna string those up top and then I'm just gonna staple the letters up. I did this very quickly, but it's basically just to get something up here. I don't know what else I'd put up there. Um, I always put one staple in first just to make sure it's spaced out. And even though there is technically more room on that side, I'm not too worried about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and staple the rest down. But if you don't know this trick already, if you are using black letters or dark colored letters, you just color these staples with whatever color you're doing. So that way they show up black instead of like bright silver. I'm actually super happy with how this turned out. I made those little welcome signs because I saw something similar to it on Pinterest, but it wasn't exactly like my theme, so I made my own. I just made that little shape on PowerPoint and then I inserted a picture from Google and then I put the letters over top of them. And then the two third grade part, I cut out on my Cricut. All these are just pictures I already had hung up last year, a calendar, my wreath used to be on my door. And then this cute little thing from Hobby Lobby, I used to have it as well, it just was never hanging up. So I just put a few notes in it. So this year we had the option of keeping our computers over the summer, but I didn't do that just because I thought it'd be one more thing to lose or take care of. So I just got my computer back, which thank goodness, because I'm gonna be using it all day tomorrow. Um, I'll probably be sitting right here, honestly, trying to think of things I can work on as I watch the PD or staff meetings that aren't like super distracting. Obviously, I'm still gonna pay attention, but I'm happy to have this computer back so that I can start printing things. Okay, next on the list is that bulletin board up there. I'm gonna use these old clipboards and spray paint them instead of buying brand new ones. And then if I need to use new ones, either this year or next year, I'll just buy new ones for the kids to use. But I figured I should just spray paint these instead of buying brand new ones to spray paint. I'm probably not supposed to do this in my classroom, but I don't really know where else go and I didn't do it at home so I laid out some paper and I'm just gonna do it right here if it ruins anything it would be my stage which I made and bought with my own money so
For this bulletin board back here, I'm just going to use um, these letters that I cut out of my Cricut and write math talk across the top. And then as we go throughout the year and learn new vocab words, um, they'll be able to put them up. So I'll have like a multiplication, addition, subtraction, division, and they'll match the words with it and it'll just stay up all year, kind of like a vocab wall. I might have overdone it on the letters just a tad. They're a little bit big and the talk kind of goes off to the side, but Basically, then I'll use black tape and I'll go down the middle and then across and then as we go, I will put the vocab words up or I'll let them put them up. If you're watching this video, you will know that I survived, but it is so strong, the smell from that spray paint. And I brought this white spray paint because I wanted to spray paint that shelf back there. But I don't open the door because then people will smell it too and they'll know that I was doing it. And I don't know if you're allowed to, but I think I'm going to go for it because it's my last day. So gonna go spray paint this shelf hopefully it looks a little bit better than the clipboards the clipboards are looking a little bit patchy and I'm not sure why like there's definitely dark spots but since I'm using them to hang something like the paper will be over it anyway so I'm not gonna worry about it I'm just gonna go with it This might be a fail. I took all those off and spray painted it. I still need to do a little bit more, but it's running out, so I tried to do like the basics. When these are on them, you can't really see the actual bottom part, but still, I feel like it looks worse. All right, next on the list is this bulletin board. I'm going to take down the brown wood-ish look and put up the white one and then use the same border to put it back up. And then hopefully, if those dry, I can get those hung up today as well. Shout out to Rachel for letting me borrow these because I bought these and then I forgot them at home and I just saw them in her room and it reminded me of them. But I put them up here along the top. I don't love it. I think it blends in too much. I think I need an all black border. But for right now, we're gonna go with it because I don't feel like redoing it. I always feel like there are people walking by. That's why I talk so quietly when I'm in here because it's just so quiet in the school right now. And I feel like people are gonna think I'm talking to myself, which I guess I kind of am, but. When I came to this classroom, my mom made me these curtains and she also made another little mini one and I had it hanging under the board up there, but it kept falling off and then the kids would like pull at it when they were sitting on the stage. So I have this one, but I really don't know where to hang it. I was thinking about maybe up there or hmm, like overlap it with that gray curtain up there. I don't know. Where should I put this? Or maybe just right here. You guys, I have a permanent layer. I mean, you can't see it, but from spray painting it like comes back so i have like a layer of spray paint all over my whole body the room reeks my friend just came in and said he could smell it from down the hallway so he helped me open the window but hopefully <laughs> get some airflow in here i'm waiting for my black clipboards to dry and then i'm going to start hanging them up over there my vision is to put pictures of people up there that are inventors scientists engineers basically makers and it will be like a little maker board and then i would like to change them out throughout the year so hopefully i can find enough that go with a book but if you want to see what that looks like when it's finished make sure you're following my instagram at miss curtis's classroom because that's probably where i will first post a picture of it unless i'm still making youtube videos but i have a feeling it'll take me a while to get that finished because i'm too busy setting up my room right now so yeah follow me on instagram if you want to see that Sometimes I forget I have this up here, but I've actually done a lot of stuff up here. I took all of this stuff home. So, well, I'm actually leaving the bench here. I got the janitor to move the carpet. I took a few of the stools home. Lack six I'm taking home today. The last of the crate seats I'm taking home today. Still need Clayton to come pick those up. And I actually threw away my big gray chair. How sad. Let's see, spray paint white cabinet. Even though it looks like crap, I did that. Bulletin boards are good for right now. Name tag supplies in each desk. Organized teacher area. This I'll probably do tomorrow during the meeting. Um, bookshelf question mark. Don't even know what that meant, so cross out. All the rest of the stuff I pretty much need to 
make when I go home tonight. Okay, so here's your chance to win something in this video. Up here, I have this white shiplap area, and then I have that blue little ribbon that's kind of falling down, but I put it up at the beginning of last year, and then I never put a quote or pictures or anything up there. So this year, I want to put a quote up there, maybe with a few pictures, I'm not sure, but basically, I want it just to be a quote about, um, you know, like a motivational quote or an inspirational quote. So drop a quote in the comments that you like, that you think would go good in a classroom, and I will pick one person who I like their quote the most and either I'll use it or I'll just give you a $10 Amazon gift card. Okay, when other people are here, I just don't get as much done. Like Rachel's here today and my friend Matt, the tech guy's here and we just like talk the whole time. So yeah, I didn't get everything done that I wanted to, but on my next video, whenever that may be, I'm going to finish this little makerspace wall. I have big plans for it. I just bought this shelf from Ikea and I'm gonna try and hang it up with command hooks or like the command strips that are for like hanging pictures and stuff. It says it holds up to 14 pounds. I don't think this is 14 pounds, but it's just gonna be over that bench over there. So like if it falls, then it falls. Well, that's probably gonna fall down. I used four of them, but it kind of already sounds like it's peeling off the wall, but we'll see how long it lasts. I'm just gonna put some books on it. Okay, I hung up the clipboards and I actually really like how it looks. I don't know why the spray paint like didn't really go on those very well, but it will be covered up for the most part because there will be something over it. And then I moved my bins back up here. I still need to take all those letters off because I think I'm going to put kids' names on them. I need to get rid of that little bin of chess pieces because I'm pretty sure we're not going to be playing chess this year. I cleaned off my table area. I'm probably going to throw away that black cart because now I have the white one. Still not sure where to put this black cart. Need to find a place to put all that stuff. And I put the stem bins back on here. I think it looks all right. It's not wonderful, but I like the white better than the wood. I'm probably gonna spread out those book bins and use them to store stuff. But other than that, I pretty much just need to organize a few more things and then obviously take the table home, take the carpet out and all that kind of stuff. All right, it's three o'clock, so I'm gonna head home, but all the furniture is where it's gonna be. All I really need to do is add some more decorations. Um, I have some crafty things that I wanna do, but since the kids don't come until September 2nd or something, I have time to do all that while we're here. Like if I work on it at home and then bring it in one day, I have time to hang it up during lunch and stuff like that. So I'll give you one last look at how it looks, and then I'm gonna head out of here. <laughs> 